Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Chemistry Aspirant. Now in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the molecular orbital energy level diagram for H2 molecule, H2 plus ion and H2 minus ion. In this video, you are going to learn 8 important points by which you can easily explain the formation of any molecule or ion by using your molecular orbital theory concept. So this video will be very useful kindly watch till the end and this point will be very easy i will give you a very simple trick at the end of this video so now let us consider the formation of molecular orbital energy level diagram for hydrogen molecule that is your h2 molecule so when we have to explain the formation of a, any molecule by using molecular orbital theory concept always take the reference of that molecule now here we are explaining the formation of hydrogen molecule so we know that the hydrogen molecule is formed by the two hydrogen atom and each hydrogen atom in the ground state has only one electron in its one year's atomic orbital. So that will be our point number first that I already explained here. Again we know that each hydrogen atom contains the one electron hence the hydrogen molecule will have the two electrons next your point number third that is the construction of the molecular orbital energy level diagram so here the linear combination of two one s atomic orbitals gives the two molecular orbital that is sigma one s and sigma star one s that i have shown in this diagram so there the two electrons occupy the sigma one s molecular orbital while the sigma star 1s atomic orbital remains so this vacant. is a simply your point number third by which we can simply construct the molecular orbital energy level diagram for hydrogen molecule now next your point number four now here in the point number four we are going to discuss the electronic configuration of hydrogen molecule as we write the electronic configuration for the atom but now here we are going to consider the electronic configuration for hydrogen molecule so here I have shown the electronic configuration of hydrogen molecule that is equals to KK into sigma 1s2. So there is a two electron in the bonding molecular orbital in the electronic configuration. Generally, the electronic configuration is written with a KK as a constant and the energy level in which the electrons are distributed. So this is a simple electronic configuration actually you are going to take the reference of the previous step while writing the electronic configuration of this hydrogen now next molecule. your point number fifth now here we are going to calculate the bond order so simply we know that we already learned the formula of the bond order the bond order is generally calculated as an 1 by 2 into nb minus na where nb is the number of electrons in the bonding molecular orbital while the Na is the number of electron in the antibonding molecular orbital. So whenever you have to calculate the bond order again take the reference of our point number third in which we already distribute the electrons. So we know that sigma 1s is a bonding molecular orbital while the sigma star 1s is an antibonding molecular orbital. The two electrons are present in the bonding molecular orbital that is your sigma 1s. So that will be the value of our Nb. So while the sigma star 1s is an antibonding molecular orbital and it is a vacant, hence Na will be equals to 0. Therefore, so by a simple mathematical calculations that is 1 by 2 into 2 minus 0. So that will be equals to 1 by 2 into 2. Therefore, bond order will be equals to plus 1. Now the point number 6 that is the stability of this hydrogen molecule. Here you can observe that the number of bonding electron is greater than the number of antibonding electron that is nb is greater than na and the bond order is a positive value hence the hydrogen molecule is a stable molecule and as the bond order is a one the two hydrogen atoms are connected with each other by the single bond here you are going to predict the stability of this hydrogen molecule on the basis of the number of bonding electrons and the number of antibonding electrons and the bond order values that we have obtained. Then the point number 7. Now here you have to remember the number of bonds, 
bond length and the bond dissociation energies for the H2 molecule. The hydrogen molecule, the number of bond is equals to 1 as the bond order is a 1. Then the bond length is 74 picometer. The bond dissociation energy for two hydrogen atom is 438 kilojoule. So the last point that is our point number 8. In this one, we are going to explain the magnetic property. So, that is our point number 8 magnetic property. Now, here again you can observe that all electrons that are present in the bonding molecular orbitals are paired electron. Hence, the hydrogen molecule is diamagnetic in so, nature. This is a simple 8 key point by which you can easily explain the formation of any molecule. Now, let us recall these simple 8 points. Now, in the point number first, you have to remember which and how many atoms are involved in the formation of that molecule. So, number of atoms that you are going to remember there. Now, in the point number second, you are going to remember the number of electrons that are present in that atom and you have to combine the total electrons for the formation of that molecule that is your point number 2. Point number third is very simple that is the construction of your molecular orbital energy level diagram and you can show the different energy level. Now, the fourth point is we have to write about the electronic configuration of that molecule. The fifth point we have to calculate the bond order. Now, sixth point is very important that is regarding the stability of that molecule. Now, in the point number seven, we have discussed the number of bond, bond length and the bond dissociation energy and point number 8 is regarding the magnetic property. So, these are the 8 important key points by which you can easily remember the explanation regarding the formation of any molecule by using molecular orbital theory concept. So, now let us discuss the formation of H2 plus ion. So here or point number first H2 plus ion is formed by the two hydrogen atom. Each hydrogen atom contain the one electron in the ground state in a 1s atomic orbital that is our point number first. Now, next your point number second, but as this H2 plus ion is a positively charged ion, hence the one electron from the one hydrogen atom is removed. So, there will be the one positive charge, hence the H2 plus ion will have only one electron. Now, again very simple your point number third that is the construction of molecular orbital energy level diagram that I have shown here. Now, here you can observe that the linear combination of 1s atomic orbital of a 2 hydrogen atom for gives the sigma 1s molecular orbital and sigma star 1s anti bonding molecular orbitals. Again, we know that there is only one electron hence this electron will occupy in the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital while the sigma star 1s anti bonding molecular orbital will remain vacant. So, that is our point number third. Now, here we have observed that only one electron is there and it occupy in the lowest energy state that is your sigma 1s bonding molecular orbitals. Now, your point number fourth that is the electronic configuration of H2 ion. And now, here I have written the electronic configuration of H2 ion equals to KK into sigma 1s1. Now, next our point number fifth that is the calculation of bond order. So, bond order will be equals to 1 by 2 into Nb minus Na. Again, you can observe that 1 by 2 into the value of Nb will be here 1 as only one electron is in the bonding molecular orbital that is in the sigma 1s. So, that will be the value of your Nb. Therefore, 1 by 2 into 1 minus 0 that is the value of your Na as the antibonding molecular orbital is vacant. Hence, 1 by 2 into 1 minus 0. Therefore, the bond order will be the 1 by 2. Now, next your point number 6 that is the stability of this H2 plus ion. Now, again we can observe that the number of bonding electron is greater than the number of anti bonding electron and bond order is having a smaller positive value. Hence, this H2 plus ion is somewhat stable. Lastly, we are going to discuss about the magnetic property. 
now here you can observe that as the only one unpaired electron is present in sigma 1s molecular or orbital hence this ion is a paramagnetic in nature so by using this simple seven steps we can easily explain the formation of h2 plus ion and its stability lastly we are going to discuss about the formation of h2 minus ion and its stability so our point number first we know that this h2 minus ion is formed by the two hydrogen atoms each hydrogen atom in the ground state has a one electron in the 1s atomic orbital that is our point number first now the point number second but as this h2 minus ion have a one negative charge hence there will be the total three electron in h2 minus ion that is the two from the two hydrogen atom and one for a one negative charge that is your point number two now point number third very simple that is your molecular orbital energy level diagram now i have shown this molecular orbital energy level diagram in which the one hydrogen atom contain the one paired electron while the one hydrogen atom contain just a single electron we know that the linear combination of 1s atomic orbital of a two hydrogen atom gives the two molecular orbitals that is sigma 1s and sigma star 1s that is bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital respectively there are the three electrons these electrons are distributed by using abaus principle pauli's exclusion principle and hunt's rule of multiplicity so the first electron will enter into the sigma 1s then the second electron will again enter into the sigma 1s that means it is a pairing process then the remaining one electron will go into the sigma star 1s and it will remain unpaired there so i have shown it in the diagrammatic representation now, next our point number 4 that is the electronic configuration of h2 minus ion now the electronic configuration of h2 minus ion will be equals to kk into sigma 1s2 and sigma star 1s1 point number 5 that is the bond order now here we can easily calculate the bond order bond order equals to 1 by 2 into nb minus na now here you can observe that 1 by 2 into the value of nb will be equals to 2 as the sigma 1s contain the two electron while the sigma star 1s contain the one electron hence 1 by 2 into 2 minus 1 and therefore it will be the 1 by 2 again this value is a positive value now next our point number 6 the stability of the h2 minus ion again you can observe that the number of electron in the bonding molecular orbital that is nb having a greater value than the number of electron in the anti bonding molecular orbital that is your na and the bond order is having a smaller positive value hence this h2 minus ion will be somewhat stable now next our point number 7 that is the magnetic property now here again you can observe that by taking the reference of your point number 3 there is a one unpaired electron in the sigma star 1s anti bonding molecular orbital and hence this h2 minus ion is a paramagnetic in nature so now in this video we have explained the formation of h2 molecule h2 plus ion and h2 minus ion by using a molecular orbital energy level concept by using a very simple 7 to 8 key points you have to just remember this much by this formation we will predict the stability of this each molecule and the ions one so here you can observe that the hydrogen molecule will be the stable molecule than the h2 plus ion and h2 minus ion so thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video